so we are reading I don't even, I can't even pronounce this I think it's Bong Chong Dong Ghost <laughs> Bong Chong Dong Bong Chiang Chiang I think it might be Chiang but okay. it's my it's my third time going through it so for real so the, you never went through it all the way no 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 I did so the first time I went through it's because I watched that one guy I watched Terry TV and then I actually went through this by myself one time and then this is like my third time going with you but, how many pages is this 22 pages yeah but it's just like comic so it goes by really fast okay so uh stories by harang yeah harang harangatang so this story <laughs> is based on true eyewitness accounts we'll see about that <laughs> okay it was around eleven twenty that night I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people even at night since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was, who there was, who it was, sorry, and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. Are you scared yet? I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> she was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out of everywhere. That's kind of like a zombie. Kinda. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass by her, or her by. You know, people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right, I just froze there, not being able to move at all. Where's my baby? <laughs> my thoughts were racing to her qu question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. Wait, what did she do? Go. Oh, go. Still gives me the chills thinking about that moment. What is that? Just her hand. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Oh, over there. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she, lip she limped towards where I had pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, she is not here. I heard her screaming from far away. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. What did the sound come on? You fucked up. It was a noise happened. here. Yeah, that would have been scary with noise. Yeah, it's supposed to be a noise. The noise you heard about that. Then That's what happened? 
I don't know what my sound is on. It was like the grudge noise. But yeah, it's whatever. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bong Cheng Dong, something 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 seal Seoul, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as her surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. The end. The end. Was that scary? Uh, not really, because there wasn't any sound or anything. But, but you heard the sound with that, right? Yeah, I heard about that. It's kind of scary. Yeah. How come it didn't come on this, this time? I don't know. Why is it not doing it? Refresh the page, maybe? I don't know. <gasps> You're smart. Ah. See, that's scary. That's it. That's scary. I can't look at it. The end. <laughs>